Hi guys, it's Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And I guess I'm here to answer uh, some of these comments that I got on my last video. I send a question out to you guys on what you think I should do with my channel. Is it helping? Is it not? Uh, should I keep up with email? Should I stop them? And it's pretty much neck to neck on uh, on emails. I've had a lot of comments on what to do instead of emails. Uh, one lady told me I should have a blog. Heck, I don't even know what a blog is. I asked the secretary at the shop. I got some brainiacs at work. And uh, she does all my computer stuff, my phone. And she tells me, Jim, you're just too damn old. <laughs> you can't you can't figure this stuff out. So I just let her do it. And I've had other comments where just stop the emails. Your videos are good enough. You should be able to figure it out from the video. I've had other comments that said, no, please don't stop the emails. We, the videos are good, but we just like that option to fall back on if we get stuck and we can't figure something out. So I've got another brainiac at work. I call him Big Brain Johnson because he's, he's one of these big brain computer guys. He's working on my channel. Uh, you'll notice on the bottom of all the videos now, it says I am transitioning from emails to comments under the videos or ask your questions in the comment section under the videos. I had a lot of viewers tell me that's what you want to do because if we watch the video and we're not quite getting the answer we need, we usually scroll down and look for somebody that has already answered or asked that question and you've already answered it. Hey, that makes sense to me. If I can answer a hundred questions at one time, that's going to save me a lot of messing around. A lot of the questions that I get uh, <clears throat> that are repeat, I'm going to do videos on them. Uh, one that's just right at the top of my head right now is I get a ton of emails on my snapper just quit going forward. It goes backwards, but it won't go forward. I don't know what's wrong. Tighten your yoke spring. That's all you got to do. Unless your clutch disc is totally shot, and I mean wore right down, it's got chips and hunks out of it, it's probably fine. Just tighten that spring up. If you don't have a lot of adjustment holes in your yoke, uh, mine has two on the bottom and three holes on the top. I got that baby stretched out as tight as I can get it in the top hole on the top and the bottom hole on the bottom and it does not slip I've had a lot of people email me back and say it's working fine that's all I had to do that's it uh, if I would have put that down in the comments section I probably only been asked that once so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna transition down <laughs> And that is not my word. <laughs> I would have just said I'm going to quit. And uh, that's in brainiacs, you know. They go to college and they learn all this stuff. So that's what we're going to do. If you have any more questions or comments, put them in the comment section. And I will answer you as long as I get notified that I got a comment or question there. I've had a couple times where... I haven't been notified that I have had a question there. So if you don't get answered, write it again. Now you're going to notice something a little bit different on my home page. Big Brain Johnson's playing with my site. Now it says across the front of my building, Jim's Fix-It Shop. And underneath Jim's, there's a picture, a little character picture of me, I guess. That is how you subscribe to my channel from now on. You touch that picture. 
and I'm not sure how it works. I'm going to have to get on my wife's computer because she's not subscribed to me. I don't know why. I'm going to have to ask her about that. I'm about 900 subscribers. That's good. I hit 1,000. I'm going to start pushing for some deals on parts for us. Uh, I've got over 102,000 views. That's, that's good. I just need more subscribers. So that's what I'm going to try and do. We're going to uh, stop the emails and we're going to go to the comment section. I am still going to answer them. Don't worry about that. But the questions I get that are huge, like the clutch problem with the, the yoke spring. Um, another big one is when I try to put my snapper in reverse, I get this terrible grinding and crunching noise. I get that a lot. And that is from your bushing on the left side of your machine is shot. And when your machine is sitting down on its tires, because your, here's your axle, because your bushing on this side is shot, it's letting your axle lift up, which in turn is lifting your chain case and grinding it into your drive disc. I've had a lot of them, I told just stand it up, pull your tire off, pull your wheel hub off, and look at your bearing. Oh yeah, it's shot. Simple things like that, that if I would have put that in the description below, I would probably wouldn't have all these emails, but hey, I told you I'm new at this, I'm learning. And uh, that's why I asked you guys in the last video, what should I do? So I guess that's about it. Thank you for your comments and your questions. Lord, don't stop. I love helping you guys. I've got people from, from all over that I've been sending emails to helping them, but you just don't know where they are unless they tell you. I've got Belgium, Australia, uh, South Africa. Uh, it's just... I got a list in the house. I just got a bunch of them. I got almost mm, three quarters to seven eighths of all the states in the United States I've helped people in. So if you're, if you haven't told me where you're from, drop me in line. Let me know. I kind of keep track. I want to see how many places I can touch around and uh, help somebody. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and. Uh, Let's go cut some grass. Talk to you soon.